Hey guys, just want to go over the first couple of days of starting this, especially if you're brand new. Uh, you're gonna be feel you're gonna feel like you're you're blind. Like, what the hell am I doing? Where am I going? Uh, I I swear that that shall pass. Uh, but again, your your goal is to calculate the amount of protein, fat, and carbs that are going into your diet. The best thing we can do is to plan ahead. So today or tomorrow, sure, day one's going to kind of suck because you're not going to know what you're doing. Uh, But if you wake up in the morning and then you have your typical breakfast, uh, plug that in and see where that takes you. Um, For me, when I go down to diary, um, my breakfast is roughly the same. Uh, I do have butter and toast in the morning, granola and yogurt, some orange juice, bananas, um, Looking at it now, it's, you know, it's mostly carbs, shit. But anyway, yeah, for me, getting protein, enough protein throughout the day is my hardest task. Uh, So that's something I'm working towards. Um, But what I can do is, so say for tomorrow, I'll go up at the top and I'm going to go starting new and I'm shooting for what I'm doing tomorrow. Uh, So I can come in here and I'm going to add some food. Like, what am I going to eat? So tomorrow, I'm going to come in, like, let's say I'm having... Pop tarts, so two pop tarts, seventy four carbs, nine grams of fat, three protein. Again, low in the protein. You'll you'll realize a lot of it is low in the protein. So say I have some pop tarts, then I'm going to go over and I'm going to have some eggs. So our eggs are happy eggs. So we do the happy eggs. Um, I believe this is four eggs, maybe five. I think five eggs. So this is five eggs. It was my serving right there, high in protein. So I'm having five eggs and some uh, Pop-Tarts. Sounds delicious. I'm probably going to need more carbs. So I'm going to have an eight ounce glass of orange juice. And T thinks I'm doing a great job. Thanks, babe. So from here, eight ounces. Um, I'm going to add this. So this is what I'm doing tonight for tomorrow. So I'm as I wake up, I already know what I'm eating. I'm almost at 900 calories. Uh, for me, I'm trying to gain, so I'm looking forward to increasing calories. Uh, so this is my goal, right? So here's a good idea is to prep. So lunch, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to come in. I'm going to have some beef, ground beef. I've eaten it before. I did have 12 ounces the other day, but in our normal sitting would be about six ounces of beef. So I plug that in there, and that's 34 grams of protein. Sweet. I'm adding ground beef. So here's what we can do. When you start understanding that you have these set meals, especially breakfast and lunch throughout the week, is something you can hit on a daily basis, something you consume often, then at the at dinner, you're going to come up top and notice that, man, I'm looking at 1,400 calories remaining. Um, I can go back to my home screen. That's going to tell me how much protein, fat, and carbs. Low on the carbs. I had those pastries in the morning, and then I I have a lot of protein. Protein is going to be my biggest my biggest challenge through this whole four weeks. And so my goal would be, all right. So now I'm in. I'm at. I'm going in for dinner. I'm going in for dinner. I need to eat a lot of protein. So maybe I come back through. I eat more ground beef or whatever the case may be. Uh, my fitness pal is awesome because you can scan the barcode of something and or you just come up top and start typing away. Listen, you're going to feel blind, especially for our newbies, but you can do this. You, you can do this. Allow the flexibility of the first couple days to almost the first week of not hitting your numbers, not knowing what you're doing. Um, but I promise you'll figure it out. Um, Yeah, you'll figure it out. We're here. We're on your side. Much love, and we'll talk to you soon.